It was extremely violent. It was this moment caught on camera when Mirna Munoz says she knew something didn't feel right as one man pretended to be shopping and then these three men sat in the cage waiting to be let into their shop, Hoyeria El Ruby. So the individual that was standing right here pulled a gun and the three individuals that came in pulled guns. Customers dropping to their knees held at gunpoint. Some of the staff fleeing to the back. Munoz able to grab her kids and escape. My mom and my cousin closed the door as I grabbed my 18-month-old baby. Her mom, Lydia Tena, tried to hit the panic button before one of the robbers attacked her. They hit her in the back of her head with the gun three times. They also hit my cousin Magdalena in the back of the head. She felt like they were gonna kill her after they hit her three times with the gun in her head. And she, one of the times, tried to move to push the panic button and they told her that if she moved at all once more that they were gonna kill her and they were gonna kill um, my cousin. Within another minute, cameras in the back capturing four more men entering the back door. They had white gloves and they were all loading their guns. You know, says one assaulted her sister who walked into all the chaos. He like grabbed her by her hair, hair pulled her up the stairs um, and told her not to move or he was gonna kill her. And while he had her face down to the floor, he yanked all of her personal jewelry off. The eight men wiping out the store that's been here for 24 years in a matter of three minutes. Everything, they just sort of started putting it in backpacks and duffel bags. Denver police confirming they are looking for these eight Hispanic men. It's organized crime and their accent is from Venezuela. Walls now bare and shelves disheveled. This family shaken and scared for the future of their shop. This is very traumatizing. Si tengo mucho miedo. Yes, I'm very scared and mostly for our kids.